We're back with the Foreign Minister of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleba, who is in Kyiv. Good morning to you, Minister. Good morning. The Biden administration is warning of an impending chemical weapons attack in Ukraine. Do you have any further information about where or when or what the consequences would be? Would NATO defend you? Well, we don't know the details, but we do not exclude that option because we see that uh, Russia is using one prohibited weapon after another to break us down. And the United Nations have already confirmed that some of the internationally prohibited weapons have been used uh, against Ukrainian civilians, against our cities. And uh, when you're asking me whether NATO will defend us, well, we do not have, uh, we do not expect that. Uh, what we are asking is very simple thing. We say, arm Ukraine and we will do the rest. Uh, give us all the weapons necessary and we will fight for our own land and for our people. President Biden approved another 200 million in weapons, but those are small arms, anti-aircraft as well. There is the promise that Congress will be sending more money your way. What specific types of weapons do you need? What kind of sophisticated systems? Well, the highest demand is in, in, in planes, in fighting, fighting jets, in attack uh, aircrafts, because uh, unfortunately the air force uh, power of Russia and Ukraine are uncomparable. Uh, and uh, yes, it's true that we shoot them down, but they also, they also shoot us down. And if we lose control over the sky, we cannot prevent two things from happening. We cannot prevent uh, we cannot stop Russian bombers destroy our cities and killing civilians. And we cannot destroy Russian columns heading towards our big cities along the roads. To achieve these two purposes, we need more planes. This is the, uh, the most pressing issue. We, frankly speaking, we don't understand all the explanations that we are given why we should not be, uh, why we should not be given uh, those planes and uh, we'll continue <clears throat> putting pressure on our uh, and from all corners and requesting this assistance uh, from the United States and other partners. It was on this program last Sunday that the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, said uh, the decision by Poland to provide fighter jets to Ukraine gets a green light from the United States. Then, days later, President Biden spiked that. Do you have a sense that any country will give you fighter jets? Well, it's frankly, everything that happened uh, over the fighting jets in the last week uh, is kind of a diplomatic mystery. On the one hand, everyone is ready to do, to do it, but uh, uh, nothing is happening and we are not getting the planes. Uh, it reminds me of a rather ping pong game where every side uh, throws uh, the ball to the other side and gets it back. Uh, we have no time for this kind of ping pong diplomacy. We need planes to save lives of our people and uh, to stop rush, to stop, to put an end to Russian domination in the sky. The United States argues giving these jets would be escalatory and a risk to NATO, a risk to the United States, and that you have things like drones that work just fine. I, to my view, this logic is flawed because uh, how, drones are not escalatory and planes are escalatory. What is the logic behind it? anti tank weapons are not escalatory and uh, uh, planes are escalatory. First, what else Russia has to do for everyone to understand that they already reached the peak of escalation? They used, as I mentioned in the beginning, weapons prohibited by, the, by, by international conventions. Why are we so afraid of uh, another, another escalation? We need, uh, the, we, we need to defend ourselves. The president of Poland said that what happened in the past week, specifically the bombing of that maternity hospital that got so much attention around the world, that it bears the features of genocide. Is that what you believe Russia's intent is? Well, Russia, uh, President Putin definitely uh, believes that Ukraine uh, has no right to exist as a country. He doesn't recognize our identity. He says we are the Russians, we are not, we are not uh, Ukrainians. We are the same, which is obviously not the case. 
And uh, from what we've been seeing in recent, uh, in recent three weeks is a series of uh, um, deliberately committed war crimes, crimes against humanity. And uh, when they bomb uh, hospitals, maternity houses, schools, when they kill civilians passing by trying to be evacuated from the war zone, that of course uh, indicates that they uh, are trying to break us down and to destroy us. Minister, thank you for your time and stay safe.